Okay, here's my contour camera, right? Uh, pretty simple little thing. It's got a little uh, plug there for a tripod. There's a little microphone. It's a, it's smaller than normal uh, microphone jack. These are rails for the different kinds of adapters. It's a Bluetooth light. Bluetooth lights are on because it's streaming to my phone. Okay. What I like about this is it's it's just got an on switch. If you turn it on, it's a slider. You turn it on, it's automatically recording, and you can lock it to lock it either off or you know lock it where it's on. The only other real button is back here. It's the status button. It shoots out a little laser for you to tell how the uh, where the lens is because you can turn the lens for either shooting it straight or you can turn it 90 degrees. You can turn it 90 degrees so you can lay it down sideways depending on how your adapters are. Okay. Um, waterproof. This got a uh, HDMI out. If you if your computer will take HDMI in, then you can stream this like a webcam. The only problem is in the uh, uh, Contour uh, website, they lead you to believe that a MacBook. Uh, can stream like that. However, MacBook, uh, at least the one I've got, it's, it's it does have an HDMI port, and I spent 50 bucks for the cable, but uh, the it's only HDMI in, right? Uh, so you can play video or whatever on your laptop. It's not a HDMI, or it's a, it's an HDMI out, so you could play it on your TV. It's not HDMI in, so uh, spend extra money for uh, the cable for that to work, and it doesn't work. Here is the, just a regular uh, USB uh, port, mini USB port, for charging or for pulling the stuff off. If you open it up, there's the battery. This switch here, there's two different settings. Um, there's several different settings. I have mine set where if it's at position one, it's shooting um, uh, HD video at what 1072 if I go down it is a position two I've got it set to take pictures every like five seconds right uses a little mini SD card and there's a little format button if I hold press and hold the format button it will format the card okay now as it sits it's pretty waterproof okay but if I wanted to use it actually underwater um, like if I was to do that underwater Glock shooting video I've been planning, then I can put it in this waterproof case, and it's waterproof, I think, down to like 90 feet, so uh, it's pretty crazy. All right? This came with the, uh, with the kit. All right? The software for the Android or the iPhones, uh, software to run it on your phone is free, and you can, you know, set up the settings. And you can just press to record. And with the SD card and the battery, it records for about four hours. All right. Now, this has also got built-in GPS. It doesn't work good, very good indoors because it doesn't have an antenna. But outdoors, you turn it on. As soon as it gets the uh, the signals, it'll it'll uh, broadcast or or put on your video uh, grid coordinates and time if you if you so choose in the um, Contour Storyteller program. Now, there's some things that I don't like about it, and, and for a $400 camera, you know, it, it does what they designed it to do, but they kind of oversold it, right? It takes... <coughs> it takes good quality pictures. However, it's kind of fish-eyed because of the lens. It's kind of wide-angle and, and fish-eyed. Sound is horrible, right? Very muted. And, you know, I bought a, a lapel mic to plug in. It doesn't, doesn't do much better. It doesn't record sound very good. It doesn't take uh, very good video for, like, the kind of video I do, like YouTube-type stuff, right? But it is pretty good quality video. 
um, if it's if you're going to put it on your dash cam or whatever right if you put this on a gun you know it does tend to work pretty good because the sound's kind of muted you know it doesn't it doesn't tear up with the gunshots all right so um you know if i had to do it over again i probably wouldn't spend the 400 bucks you know because i bought this in a, in a little 200 dollar uh, nikon camera i would probably put the money together throw in a little bit extra and get a get a probably a thousand dollar camera that was that was better right um but it is it does have its uses and i will be using it in videos in the uh, future right but uh, I guess the proof's in the pudding, so let's put it on a tripod and actually take some video and let you see what it what it does. All right, see, it's pretty cool because I can adjust it on the uh, on the phone because there's no viewfinder on the camera, and then when I'm ready to record, I just hit the record button. All right, um, like I said, it's a pretty decent camera. There we go. How's that? A little better, huh? So, as I said, it's a, it's a pretty decent little camera. It's got its uses. But if I was going to sit here and do a, you know, today's book report is on, or let me tell you a story, you know, I don't really think this is the right kind of camera for that. Uh, but I am notoriously hard on camera. You know, I go outside and I'm, and I'm building something. There's lots of different types of adapters, helmet adapters and, and you know, bike adapters and, and, you know, all sorts of things. And, and in a later video, we're actually going to show how to turn this into a dash cam to record encounters with the police in case you get stopped speeding, you know, so you have a, a, a record of, of what's going on. Um, so it does have its uses. You know, I bought it. I'm going to figure out a way to... Uh, to use it but as you can see from the sound there's a big difference in sound quality between this and the other camera and and you get that walleye kind of fish effect so um, there you go if you want to get the camera if you're going to do gun videos it's got a a, a a rail that you can put on your AR or your shotgun whatever and, and do um, shooting videos that way you want to do free gun you know I'm kind of working up a uh, an idea we're going to do a a defense of the house kind of show my defensive house plan you know and I'll, and I'll put it on the gun so you kind of see what the what the gun sees as, as, as we talk and then maybe show why you shouldn't try to clear rooms by yourself or why you shouldn't try to clear rooms in your house and I think by having a gun cam it's going to allow me some flexibility to do some videos that I haven't done uh, so far or up to this point okay so it, it uh, it may mean not be the quality that I wanted, but it does give me some flexibility. And I guess that's an end of the game. So anyway, uh, take this for what it's worth. Uh, and until next time, you can go to Skipster Online, www.tngun.com.